third battle between Pokepax and uh, Obelix, we have the Hunts commanded by Obelix and the Burgundians commanded by Pokepax. Obelix bringing his Honic Lancers. He has, let's see, he has four Honic Lancers, medium shock cavalry with a precursor missile. Uh, missile damage 14. Not impressive. <laughs> And then he has uh, some noble step cataphracts. Maybe that is due to whistling shot. He's planning to use whistling shot to reduce the combat capabilities of the units he's charging. Might be why. Then he has four step bows. He has two honic mounted bows. A very good unit to bring on the flanks. He has a step warlord and his infantry, of course, Uars and chosen Uars. For the Burgundians, we have uh, four scatter shots. Three noble Germanic swords, four Burgundian axes, royal Burgundian general, uh, two barb lancers, and uh, four royal lancers. So, of course, these engagements are the flank engagements, are not engagements that Oblix, Oblix wants to take, but he can do a lot of damage here with his uh, with his Honic mounted bows against the shock cavalry and shock infantry of the Burgundians. Very annoying for the Burgundians to deal with. And also two Germanic archers on the field for Pokepack. So he could keep those uh, he could keep those Honic Mounted Bows at the range with his with his uh, Germanic archers. And Obelix goes very cheap with the skirmish, which allows him to bring more good infantry. Only shock cavalry for uh, for Oblix here, aside from his step warlord general, triple bronze. And already these honic mounted are messing, they're messing it up a bit for uh, for Pokepax. Pokepax has to move his his units away from the flank, but the superior range of the Germanic archers means that the means that the Honic mounted bows have to keep their distance, especially when there are two Germanic archers. So now moving towards the left flank of Pokebox, I think. Reasonably fast, these 100 speed allows them to cover a lot of ground. Keeping in them in reserve is, is not a bad idea either. On the charge, they can to a skirmish unit. They can remove it with a single charge, and they also have forty melee damage, which is nice. And in this particular case, firing on the the scatter shots, I think, is not the worst Oblix could do. Heavy shot, focusing on the step bow is much better than Germanic archers. So pulling them away here. And the poker packs is screening away the honey mounted bows with his Germanic archers. And once again rotating away from the flanks of poker packs obelix. Yeah, the step bows are firing. Let's see if obelix focuses. No, it looks like it's fire at will. And active now, the the Honic Mounted. See if they're able to fire on this delicious blob of Axis and Shock Cavalry. Yep. Firing a few volleys, doing some damage, but they have to pull away. And they're starting to take casualties. Just the range on the Germanic Archers is just so good. And this cavalry has to be careful now. Yeah, whistling, whistling arrows, reducing the morale and rate of fire on these these scatter shots. The slingers, Oblix is pulling away from the slingers. And I wonder whether just having one of them on 
one of them on flaming and the other ones on or um, I mean on whistling and the other ones on heavy would be a good idea here. So the Stepos had attack orders on the scatter shots, but moving to intercept now are the noble Germanic swords. Using wedge against non-wedge royal lancers allows the chosen Uars to get a good charge here against the royal lancers. And once again doing the same here, Honic Lancers wedge against Barb Lancers. Maybe just did that to bl sort of blob up the units of, of uh, poker packs. And you can see the Royal Lancers are going down quickly, but so are the Noble Step Cataphracts. Nice charge here with the Royal Burgundian General into the, into the blob. And the Honic Lancers already wavering. The Honic Mounted Bows could get the nice charge here now against the scatter shots, but he's instead choosing to send them into the Burgundian Axis. To take out our general. Defend him. So now it means that any fire here is going to cause friendly fire the as well. And the Step Warlord charging into the Royal Burgundian General. On the flanks, the bows have been dealt with. Honic Lancers charging into the Noble Germanic Swords, but there are so many Burgundian cavalry units here. This charge should probably be redirected. Getting some good kills there, but the, the Steppos are also joining the fight, interestingly enough. The men are broken and, are fleeing. and Honic units breaking all, all over the battlefield now. This Uar warrior looks like it's trying to go for the skirmishers. And where, th yeah, the the Hunnic mounted bows are still fighting, getting nice kills now against uh, against the Burgundian axis, getting another charge here against the Royal Burgundian general. But overall, Pokebax has more units free. His skirmishers are still fine. And this charge by the Burgundian axman is going to be brutal. The Royal Lancers will get sort of snagged here, but um, they get move orders by Pokopak, so they're going to be moving away. But if the if the Burgundian general dies, and he's going to die now, then things look more the difficult for for, for Pokopak. I still think he has enough men left to do this. The general has been killed. Excellent. But morale can be a problem for the Burgundians, as long as Oblix gets his general away or is able to deal with the skirmishers. Noble Germanics against Chosen Wars. And the Honic Lancers will connect here. Our advantage has been lost. The Honic Mounted Bows will connect. Now Oblix needs to be careful with his general, his Step Warlord. He hasn't taken casualties yet though. Our forces have found their courage. Back to the fight. Very, very close this. These skirmishers really need to be dealt with. Sending, sending a cavalry unit around here would probably be a good idea. Now the Uar warriors, looks like they are going to be able to get the charge on these boy lancers. Very good for Oblix because this is about to lose in this blob against the noble Germanics and the, the Burgundian Axis. Has a free cavalry unit here. Uh, also has some step bows lives. remaining. But can Oblix save his general? These noble step cataphracts are probably going to get focus fired on pretty soon and that should be the end of them. Oh no, it actually looks like they're going to be able to make it into the delicious blob of uh, Germanic archers there. So that was pretty huge. And now the Honic Mounted Bows are also going to be able to make it in, so this is Obelix's game at this point. Pokepax once again being reckless with his general and Obelix punishing him for it. These, these uh, Burgundian Axes one charge away from, from getting destroyed. 
they are great uh, they are great on the charge but in prolonged melee and when the general dies there's just no way they're going to stay on the battlefield so good game to both players congratulations to uh, obelix this was uh, fairly close but obelix manages to manages to uh, to claim the victory here and you can see his, his chosen URs do a great job his archers don't do much his uh, highest performing cavalry units one noble step cataphract and one hunting mounted bow they are great units his general also does a good job uh, on poker packs aside the scatter shots weren't able to do too much and uh, although some of the royal lancers do a decent job and some of the uh, and the burgundian axemen do a decent job uh, obelix although the beginning was messy for obelix he managed to get some better engagements in the end did the right thing in focusing on the general of uh, of poker packs and that was game so once again congratulations to obelix thanks for sending me the replays if you want me to cost uh, you had a good game or a uh, series of games and you want me to cost them just send them to me at uh, you can find the the um, address in in the about section or it's maximus junius brutus at gmail.com strength and honor